everybody. Hi, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. If you're new, I'm Laura. I have furry sidekicks joining me as usual. Wyatt is white puppy dog. Zena is the brown puppy dog. And I have a special guest today. This is Tico. You want to say hi? He is my dad's dog and he is staying with us for a little bit so I can help administer some medicine for him while he gets better. He hurt his leg. Hopefully he can get over that. Huh, buddy? He's going to be fine. We sure hope you stick around for the long haul and hit that subscribe. Today, I have something a little bit different than my norm. I want to talk about faux eyelashes, which is not my normal. <laughs> this is by no means a makeup channel. That is not my expertise at all. However, I decided to give fake eyelashes a try for a couple of weeks and I'm going to let you know what I have learned in case you have any interest in giving them a try. All right, so first of all, why would you even wanna try fake eyelashes? Maybe you have eyelashes that you do not love. They're a little bit, um, you know, sparse or you don't think that, you know, they're long enough. That's my case. Mine are kind of, you know, barely there. Um, I have eyelashes, but I feel like they're just hardly noticeable. So that's one reason. Um, probably not enough to have me wearing faux eyelashes, though, on a regular basis. Because mascara, you can kind, or kind of get them to show up. Another reason would be potentially if you have watery eyes or if you know that you're going to be somewhere where you may tear up um, or or have an emotional event right that you need to go to um, as a lot of you know i've had a bit of uh, emotional time uh through the end of last year where we uh, my husband and i both lost loved ones and I, it is a lot easier for me to tear up now could be something i hear something i see something i think and i instantly tear up so my eyes are watery or normally my left one more than my right one um and then i tear up a lot more so mascara and eyeliner have kind of been an issue for me because a lot of times by the time it's 10 a.m or 11 i've a lot of it has already wiped off especially more on my left eye so that's another reason to consider faux eyelashes and i'll explain why as we get into it um but it's something that you can consider for a special event it's something you can wear on a regular basis it's something you can dismiss altogether, but it's an option. All right, so the first thing that I tried was Glamnetics. So Glamnetics are magnetic. They're applied ma by magnetic, and there are all different types of eyelashes that you can purchase. I tried Glamnetics first because I loved the idea of it being magnetic, right? So you basically put it on the glue or the magnet magnet as an eyeliner it just goes on on the top it has its glamnetics has its own special eyeliner that goes with it. it comes with the eyeliner right here you can order it with it or you can buy it separately you basically just put it on as an eyeliner and then you take out the eyelash and it attaches right to the strip that you put on as an eyeliner it's magnetic super interesting now you can take off these eyelashes trim them up to exactly where you want them to be and fit them to your eye, which I recommend trimming up the eyelashes um, on the sides. So where they touch your eye from the inside corner to the outside, right? You wanna make sure they fit your eye and the shape is perfect for you. Now, the one thing I found about the normal eyelashes that look something like this is that it felt like I had caterpillars on my eyes. It was way too much. So this eyelash really didn't work for me. So then the next thing I tried within the Glamnetics is I tried it just like a cat eye. So it looked something like this, where it's less on the inside because it kept hitting on the inside of my eye. And I was like, okay, this feels wrong. I feel like I have bugs or something in my eye and I kept wanting to scrape it off. So I went with something where it's less inside and more on the outside, which I didn't mind. I still trimmed them to get them kind of to where I wanted them to be. So I tried this type. Now, the one thing I found with the Glamnetics, for me anyway, and maybe I'm not doing it right because I'm no expert, was that I couldn't get them to stay for the entire day. So eventually the inside corner and sometimes the outside corner, and Tico's running around bumping the camera, so excuse me. Um, he's new to this whole thing. 
but it would start to lift. And then once it would start to lift, I couldn't get it to stick again without reapplying the, the magnetic strip again. So it got to be kind of difficult for me. So I decided I'm not sure these glymetics are going to work for me. So then I took a little break from it. And then my eyes started getting super watery again. All my makeup, especially on my left eye, would start to run off and it would be really hard. <laughs> I'd have makeup on one eye, no makeup on the other eye. And then I decided, well, I'd like to try it again. What can I try next? So next I decided to go for just straight out glue and try a different type of eyelash. There are, again, so many eyelashes out there to choose from and you can pick whatever you like. I got this version in one of my boxes. Check these out. This is a lot of eyelash and not something I could ever wear myself. Now, you have to decide what you like best because I would probably see this on somebody and think it looks fabulous. On me, it would be way too much and I would literally feel like there was stuff all over my eye. So that's too much. And I wanted to show you in comparison, I picked these, these are by Kiro Miro. Just found these on Amazon, really inexpensive. Um, didn't cost much at all, but you can see the difference between these and this. They're shorter, they're much smaller. Um, there's not nearly as much eyelash on them. So this is what I'm wearing right now, okay? I trim these up because this is way too much. If I kept this at this length, it would go all the way to this corner and probably all the way past. So I actually trim these so they start a little bit up a little bit farther. And for all of you who may be experts at this, by all means, feel free to give me um, comments and tips down below. This is just what I learned in the short time I've been doing this. So I'm sure there are way more tips that can be shared and happy if you would comment down below. But I really liked this version. I even think I might look for something like more sparse and like a cat eye that I might be willing, um, might wanna try just to see. But this strip, I'll put it down below. I think for all of these, and you can see I've tried some already, it was like $12 for all of these. Um, and you can wear them over and over again. So I take them off every day and then I reapply them the next day. And I do that for about a week. So I wear one set for about a week and then I get rid of them and then I get two more. So this one, this, this set here for $12 could last you a really long time. Next, then I decided because it's so hard for me to apply, I don't know why, but it is. I am not like really good with glue. <laughs> I get it on my hands. I get it on my face. It's just really hard. It seemed what I decided to do was to go with black glue. And that's what this is. This is by Velour. Again, I think between this glue and this set, I paid about $25 for both. Um, and I'll put the information for them down below in case you'd like to check it out. But I know there's so many different variations that you could um, pick. But this was a long lasting black eyelash glue. And what I do is what I found works for me. Again, these are all the lessons I've learned. You can see how it's black. What I learned that became the easiest for me was I basically treated it like the Glamnetics. So I put glue on the very edge, the strip, the very edge on the outside here of the eyelash. So right along that rim of the eyelash. And then I put it on as an eyeliner. And then I just stick them together and it works so well. That is after I've already trimmed them up to size and I trim them on both sides. Um, and you have to be careful because if you don't get them to the same length then they don't look even, so that's another thing. And you have to be careful with the glue so that you don't get it too thick unless you're going for a super dramatic look. You want it thin like an eyeliner um, and you have, to, so you have to be careful to make sure you have just enough on the, on the um, brush as you put it on your eye. And then once you do that, it works really well. You have to practice. I, the first week was my practice time, but it wasn't as hard as you would think. It basically just meets like the magnet would and you can fit them right where you want them to go. And it sticks for the entire day until I pull them off at the end of the day. And if you do happen to have runny eyes, like they, they water or you cry, 
It does not run off your face like mascara. Even the waterproof that I buy, I always use waterproof eyeliner and waterproof mascara. It still runs off my face. It still messes up. Um, and I don't, when I'm busy at work and I have things going on, I can't be fixing my face all the time. So it always gets kind of messed up and you can see there's a little bit of a difference, especially in my left eye that tends to, to be a little bit more watery. So this has been a bit of a dream come true for me um, on certain days whenever I know that um, I really would prefer if my makeup doesn't completely get messed up. So let me know what you think. These are my, my learnings. Um, I have found that even if I do mess up the glue, you can take it off and just start over. If I mess up the eyeliner, the um, eyelash placement, I take it off. I just put on a little bit more of a glue and then I restick it. You don't have to start all over again. You don't have to wash everything off unless it's getting too, too thick and you don't like it. As long as it's not, then I just put a little bit more back on and restick the eyelash. You can take it right off and then put it right back on and it stays for the entire day. I have never had one come loose using this method and this glue. They don't hurt my eyelashes. I've never lost an eye, one of my existing eyelashes from doing it this way so far. And um, they don't bother me and they don't feel like I have something on my eyes. Nothing like when I was wearing the little bit longer um, Glamnetic version. These are a little bit longer. So I like that these are shorter and a little bit more lightweight. I shouldn't even say lightweight. They're just a little bit shorter um, and a little bit less eyelashes in them. But it's super easy. I'm really shocked how easy it is. I've gotten a ton of compliments about it and I actually enjoy wearing them. I don't wear them every day. Um, so I kind of go, go back and forth. It depends on what I'm in the mood for that day. Um, sometimes I don't want to wear them. Sometimes I do. But it definitely works with watery eyes. <laughs> for sure. And I do think it creates much more of a dramatic look. And I actually do think it draws attention to your eyes. So for everyone who has naturally long, amazing eyelashes, I think that... Uh, Congratulations, you don't need to worry about it. But for anyone who maybe feels like they could use a little bit extra, this would be a great option. I'll put all the information for these um, that I have used and shared down below. I'll even put the information for the Glamnetics in case you'd like to give them a try, uh, just in case. Um, I don't think they're a bad option. I really like them. They, I just was not successful in using them as far as getting them to stick throughout the entire day. That was my only issue. I have never had a problem using the black glue. All right. Tico is very busy running through the room, making sure that the camera shakes as much as possible. I will wrap this video. I hope you enjoyed it and appreciated my mm -hmm. learnings. Let me know your thoughts and if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Before I go, I will give you a little bit more of a close-up look of these. And I hope you like this. If you did, hit that like before you go. Hope you hit that subscribe and hang out for the long haul so I can keep creating videos. And if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.